Uh, it's okay. I got we listen to. <laughs> I'm gonna read my successful UW appeal. Um, right now, I just finished my winter finals, so since everyone's getting their admission um, status, I thought I should just share my waitlisting. So if you got waitlisted, I totally understand what you're going through, so I'll help you out. For me, who has been waitlisted, it sucks. It's hard. It's literally mentally and physically draining just to reprove yourself yet again and again. So. If you're going through this, bravo to you because it is tough. You can definitely do it. Um, I'm just read you mine. All right, so thank you for previously reviewing my application. My name is Heather Learn. Uh, I am a senior at Mount View High School and the located in Vancouver, Washington. Reviewing my application, I noticed that my involvement at school and academic re records were the strongest aspects. However, I recognize compared to other applicants, that's the important part, um, my ST score is low. On the contrary, I believe I possess more important characteristics. So that was my top paragraph. Um, this year I'm taking zero, zero period for AP Economics, AP Psychology, AP Stats. And so overall I've taken 10 AP classes. In those 10 uh, AP classes, a B letter grade was my lowest grade I ever received. With that said, my current cumulative GPA is 3.838 and I am ranked 48, 49th out of 461 students, 10.62%. Jeez, can you read it? Um, I would like to highlight again to the to when I lost a loved one my junior year. I ended the semester with six with four with A's and six of my eight courses, four of which were AP classes. I carried out my obligations running on an average of five hours of sleep. Um, who isn't? And was elected a elected for ASB president. On the average, students at my classes take six classes. Did I even read that right? <laughs> the average student at my school takes six classes. This is a shining example of excellence above be, be, above all, one of Foster's values. So hooking it all together like values and an example. Reviewing my application, I realized that my SAT score of 1210 is relatively low. However, I am not the best test taker. I mean, who isn't? Um, and this is not a true reflection of my character. Yeah, <laughs> I've created a well-balanced, a, a balanced life beyond my studies, which is makes me a well-rounded candidate. So I am equipped with extensive social skills through my leadership involvement. One of my personal favorites is being a student buddy for new students. This is a chance to associate <laughs> their first day at a new school with a friendly face, but most importantly, having a lunch buddy. So you want to use new examples, don't use old examples because your old examples were already in your application. Um, although to others, I seem like I run around the school like a maniac. I legit do. You can ask my friends. <laughs> uh, I try to be the number one supporter for those who do not have a support in their life. By making my school a place student want to be, I help create a positive, inclusive environment where students where every student feels acknowledged this is a clear indicator of we over me just one aspect of the mv leadership triangle which is identical to the foster values of inclusivity inclusivity and respect for others i simply am a rising leader student leader and want to continue my practice what i preach at the university of washington so wrapping it all up with the values and how it's the same. I have consistently practiced Husky core values focusing on most heavily on collaboration during my time in high school. For instance, I voluntarily worked on creating lesson plans with my student with schools administration alongside other inspired students to construct various school wide. I apologize for my reading, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, thanks for still being here. Uh, lessons based on social and emotional learning, fulfilling a student a Washington student education requirement. In addition, I still remain active in raising funds for St. Jude's Children Hospital through our school club. Team up for St. Jude's. It is evident that I have experience to share and merge creative ideas in diverse groups on numerous projects. So you show an example, you have to explain what that shows. Uh, with a high part participation i am certain that i would thrive in the business world i envision myself like my cousins so this is like why this campus is for me like no other schools for me um wearing purple and gold walking around red square and eventually receiving a degree i do not want to live life with regrets i want to take every and any opportunity to find to prove my worth as both a student and a leader 
I don't write to glow all about all my achievement and accomplishment, but my constant invo involvement in and outside the classroom only further justifies that I am truly and deserving of a spot to attend the University of Washington. It is unquestionable that I can achieve anywhere, but anywhere I go, but I want to attain the best possible business education. With that said, the closest high ranked business program is UW Seattle. I long to be a part of the undergraduate program, Michael G. Foster School of Business, because they provide innovative resources and developed a competitive atmosphere challenging their students at all times. When I stepped foot on the Seattle campus, um, I had that feeling. I did. I don't know about you guys. Um, this is my school. I do not want to enroll anywhere else. I love, I love that with over 45,000 students on campus, over 20% are Asian American. It is an absolute pleasure to exchange cultural beliefs, customs, and stories with other Asian American students in there, in either of the future Founders Hall or anywhere on campus. It would be an honor to be surrounded by like-minded individuals that have a passion to commit to excel in and outside the classroom. So saying that future foundering tall mean that like I was actively engaging with the UW campus stuff. And um, so that's just a little tip. Um, being admitted into the University of Washington would mean to accomplish one of my biggest dreams to be a proud Husky. I would be the first American born Chinese in my family to attend such a prestigious high ranked college. I pres presume that this gives you further insight in my student life and that my original application lacked. Many thanks for this extended opportunity in your time. So like that week that I did it, I had friends help me. I had a teacher that helped me edit and cut through what shouldn't be there and what's what was strong and what needed help. Um, so definitely like use your resources, talk to people, talk to people who've got admitted, talk to someone that you know that was on the wait list and maybe got um, appealed and got it approved, but it's not where I wanted to be or where anyone wants to be. Good luck. Alrighty, have a good day. Bye. So, um, I actually didn't open, oh geez. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> this is definitely not easy. There's a lot of tears in all seriousness. <laughs>